Alright, this is a short video on complex fractions. Um, and we're, just a heads up, we're going to see more of this after we talk about adding and subtracting with fractions and mixed numbers. But I'm going to introduce it here, um, and then the second time we see it, hopefully it won't seem intimidating. Okay? So let me first write one out. Uh, let's say we have one half over one fourth. Okay, so when we have a fraction that's made up of fractions, for instance, this top number, this is the numerator, but it's in fraction form. And this denominator is also a fraction, even though, um, you know, it's a denominator. So it, this is what makes it complex when you have a fraction that's made up of fractions within the fraction. Now, what I want you to think, though, is this is um, really a division problem. This line that separates the numerator and the denominator is the same thing as if, like if we were working with whole numbers and we had, say, um, 10 divided by 5. Okay, even though we would read this as an improper fraction, 10 fifths, it's also a division problem. And so, you know, you could write it you know, with the division symbol like this. You can also write it uh, 10 divided by 5. So the numerator is going to be our dividend, okay, dividend. And our denominator is also the divisor. This is what we're dividing the, the dividend by, okay? Now we're going to focus on this particular setup when we're dealing with a complex fraction. And so when you see something like this, you know, I want, I want you to train your brain to not freak out, but instead say, okay, that's division. I know how to do division. And so let's go ahead and rewrite this so that um, we could then do the division problem. Well, the first number, like in this 10, we're gonna write the numerator first, so that's 1 half divided by the denominator, or the divisor, which is going to be 1 fourth in this case. Now, by now, all of you should know how to do this type of problem. We've been working on uh, division for a little bit now, and, uh, you know, we, we know how to do this. This is not intimidating. This, at first sight, might be intimidating, but uh, we know all about this, so, um, or excuse me, we know all about this. All right, let's go ahead and uh, divide. Uh, so we're, remember, we're going to flip the second and then change the operation to multiplication. So that's 1 half times 4 over 1. We can reduce 2 goes into the 4 twice, 2 goes into 2 once, and then we get 2 over 1 or 2. Okay, and, and we've done examples just like this, so none of this should be new.